Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about Terra 2.0 and also about the airdrop that's happening tomorrow. So if you're holding Luna or UST or you've bought Luna recently, make sure you watch this video till the end. I'll talk about which exchanges are already participating in this airdrop. I'll share with you how much you can expect to get as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you've been following my channel, guys, I'm sure you know about the Luna UST crash. Luna absolute the the usd dpeg happened luna crashed more than anything from like hundred dollars to less than a cent it was absolutely ridiculous go watch the previous video as i explained to you in a lot more detail how it actually happened but in simple terms the usd dpeg happened people lost trust in that stable coin there was a bank run and a dead spiral and luna crazy amounts of luna got printed and luna got absolutely destroyed since then guys duke one and the luna team came up with this revival plan again go watch that video i explained to you uh, what's actually happening in this i'm not going to repeat into it repeat uh, repeat it myself but in simple terms just to review for people that are just watching this video they're creating a new terra chain without the algorithmic stable coin the old chain will be called terra classics if you still hold luna it will be luna classic and the new chain will be called terra and the token will be new luna Luna. This Luna will be airdropped across Luna Classic stakers, Luna Classic holders, residual uh, USD holders, essential apps and app developers of the Terra Classic and the TFO wallet will be removed in the whitelist of the airdrop, making Terra a fully community-owned chain. I think it will make Luna like 70% decentralized, which is which is pretty cool. So that's what they're doing. I will make another video talking about Terra 2.0. So if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button and all that good stuff. Uh, before I get into this video, a really important update on BTC and Ethereum. Ethereum and Bitcoin are breaking down. We've shorted Ethereum. Uh, go watch the recent live stream that I did. And if you are interested in exact updates, of what we're doing we've shorted bnb recently and uh, go watch this video it's really important but because if you watch my live stream if bitcoin breaks below this support and can't quickly get back above 29 30k i'm expecting a breakdown towards 25k so it's really important if you're holding bitcoin and and you know you're you're looking you've bought recently make sure you go watch that video and if you are interested in rocks the trading group like all the updates when i'm entering exiting live streaming i'll leave the links below for you to check out so coming back to luna so Luna 2.0 is nearly here. As a community-owned network, Terra will have its native, sto uh, native staking token Luna airdrop to its community described in this proposal. Uh, up in the Genesis, uh, May 27th, uh, uh, 2022, eligible holders of Luna uh, C, USTC, and AUST will be airdropped Luna on the new chain. The full distribution schedule can be found below. So Luna airdrop, the amount of Luna you will be eligible to receive will be determined by the token types you held on the terra classic the time period that you held these tokens based on pre-attack and post-attack so that's what's gonna uh, affect how much you get i have made a post uh, for the uh, subscribers guys this is how i believe it's going to happen let me know if this is not correct but from reading the proposal i believe that is how luna will be distributed and as you can see they are they have um sort of said the the pre-attack lunar holders will get the most lunar which it makes sense and it does help the whales you know the the newbies that got in lunar late will absolutely not be compensated because it's not even worth much the new lunar uh, will be given mostly to the old holders which again i'll let you decide and i'll make another video sharing with you my thoughts but this does uh, sort of shows the preference towards whales and big wallets compared to you know the smaller newer investors that got burnt uh, uh, recently on lunar eligibility you'll be eligible for lunar airdrop if you uh, add the pre-attack hold lunar uh, less than 500k AUSD. i do like that because there's lots of big uh, accounts on anchor protocol holding ust and uh, if you hold like a million million usd you're not going to get you know reward and that's actually good because you know if you if you've got a million on anchor protocol you've probably got millions a hundred million other accounts you're not gonna you know if you're a, if you're just a millionaire you're not gonna be all in anchor protocol you're if you're a multi-millionaire you probably own properties have other investments so it's good that the company they're focusing on the you know the smaller accounts and smaller wallets on anchor uh, post attack luna staking including staking derivatives and usd and and there's an, another thing is a uh, 30 percent will be unlocked at genesis and the other reward will be vested over two years with six months cliff and this also helps with you know people that just want to dump on luna having this vesting period will help luna not dump and uh, i'm not gonna i don't want to make this a price prediction video because you know people joke that i always talk about price you know technical analysis is what i do it's my job trading at uh, full time but you know that it, the, if Bitcoin holds and you know the the holding period for Luna might actually help Luna not get 
dump that much and it might help the price to push up as well so that's another positive about this uh this vesting period and i do i do like that i know whatever you want to talk about luna and again it's left of sour taste in my mouth again i'm not holding any at the moment um you know it is you know this is a positive in a way in my opinion uh, when will i receive the airdrop as table to illustrate above the illustration and the vesting airdrop luna depends on the wallet token type and quantity first airdrop will happen on the genesis may 27th which is tomorrow at genesis 30 percent luna airdrop will be immediately available to pre-attack users with the wallets that has less than 10k luna again they're focusing on the smaller players which is what i like or deposited usd in anchor and post attack users with any quantity of luna example scenario alice holds luna and is an anchor depositor she has the following tokens in her account so 200 luna 480 ust a post attack thousand luna and uh, 2000 ust she will receive 30 percent of her eligible airdrop at may uh, on may 27 thereafter her remaining airdrop will be vested linearly linearly to the same wallet addresses over two years with a six month cliff a vested luna at genesis all airdrop vesting luna will be automatically staked to terra validators in order to preserve the network security um users will earn staking rewards on their vesting luna starting from the point at which is stake and can claim these rewards at any point users can delegate undelegate redelegate their luna while it's vesting and being staked this ensures the users have agency over which validator their vested luna is staked with so again i'm not going to read this but you can read this bit, but i want to read, make a point here though if a user would like to liquid luna as soon as their cliff hits they'll need to undelegate their stake vested luna at least 21 days before the first day of cliff users can also keep their vested luna staked after their cliff hits to continue earning staking rewards asset chains bridges and sex uh, centralized exchanges support as we work so they're basically working towards more exchanges and i'll talk about the exchanges that are already supporting it and the some exchanges that are not assets that may not include ust or luna bridged of terror users with bridged asset or luna would like to be included in post attack snap snapshot need to bridge back to terror before snapshot is taken so this is a really important this is an action that you have to do if you want to make sure you get your airdrop usd or luna on cwc multisig um will be announced for but there could be the edge cases that may not be included so you know if you want to stay safe follow this instruction so you're you're safe and you get your luna then this is to this talks about terra 2.0 and i'll make another price prediction video talking about um terra 2.0 and my thoughts on on terra 2.0 um i've already covered that uh, this is the proposal which i went through it talks about why they're doing what they're doing and also talks about the crash and um again, i'll keep my opinions to myself you already know my thoughts on Duquan. So the most important thing now is how much uh, airdrop can you expect to get so if you had a thousand luna you'll receive 1100 luna if you had a thousand luna post attack you'll receive a lot less not point zero one five luna and that seems like not even worth it but i was that is what my calculation said if you had a thousand ust so if you have a thousand ust now you'll receive 13 luna so that is the um model that they're going by guys let me know what you think uh, if if this needs to be corrected comment below i'll help you guys out finally guys which exchanges have already confirmed to support so uh, kukwan a big exchange they'll support the migration on airdrop of terra uh, luna bybit they'll support Bidget, they're not as big but they're supporting as well and ftx is supporting gate io is supporting the three big ones ftx uh, kucoin and bybit are all supporting luna which is great to know i've not had a confirmation that binance is supporting or not i have messaged binancing and i've got a small account you know make sure you like this video share this video with more people i can help you guys out more you know the binance do reply to big accounts i've only got 20k followers so they might not care about care about my message i've messaged them asking to confirm whether there will be support it or not and if this this video is going to go live if i do hear an update i'll let you guys know in the comment section below when binance do get back to me so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys turn on the notification all that good stuff i'll post it in the community section if binance comes out and said that they've approved it so you can come back you know subscribe to the channel you can come back on the community section and find out if binance is supporting it as well because i think a lot of people a lot of the members in the rockstar trading group they're part of um, a Binance, so they just want to make sure, and I'll, I'll try and uh, let them know, and obviously let you guys know. Try and keep you guys in the right side of the market, as always. So that's the that's the video. Sorry if it sounds a bit rushed. I want to just get this video out. I'm still like processing all the Terra 2.0 thoughts and my thoughts on it. And if I do buy uh, more Luna again, I'll let you guys know in, in making a video. The Luna video should be out later this week, maybe this weekend. And and I'll, I'll, I'm also still making that Bitcoin scalping strategy video on high 
like can actually so that should come out as well and as always guys if you want me to do a live stream this sunday i'm doing a live stream hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much